what's up what's up guys i am back with another video in today's video i'll be showing you how you guys how to make this really quick and easy prom dress so if you guys are interested in seeing how i made it please stay tuned Alrighty, so here as you can see, I am just folding my fabric into four so that I can have two separate pieces, a front and a back. And I'm also going to go in and add out. Alrighty, so I ended up leaving my patterns at my studio, and right now I'm sewing at home. So I just kind of freehand, I measured out her bust, and I kind of eyeballed the armhole, and also the top shoulder, just to see, um, you know, what looked right to me, and basically how I wanted to cut everything out. Yeah, so, yeah, Alrighty, so as you can see, we're folding our fabric into fours again. Um, now I did not bring the specific pattern for this type of sleeve that I have. So I kind of had to wing it with my just normal sleeve pattern. So basically, I'm going to go in and cut the inner part of the sleeve normal or usual. The only difference will be at the top of it. I'm going to extend the top of my basic sleeve pattern. And on the side, I'm going to extend it all the way out and then fade it back into the sleeve. So as you can see in the video, I'm basically just kind of showing you how I altered the regular sleeve pattern to make it um, that puff sleeve. Now, the higher up and the further out that you go, that's the more dramatic the puff will be. So as you can see here, I didn't go too far out or too far up. So my sleeve wasn't crazy dramatic, but you can still tell that it was like a subtle um puff sleeve and as you can see how i kind of folded it in that's basically how you're going to go about making it the puff sleeve and as you can see here i'm just going in and pinning everything so i'm laying everything flat we have our uh, sleeves right side to the right side, and you're just going to sew down the inside, and then you're going to sew down the outer corner, but just, as you can see, all the parts that I'm pinning, that is the parts that I'm going to go in and sew. Please, please, please do not go sew the top of the sleeve, just sew the areas that I have pinned. Alrighty, so there are two steps that I did not show you guys. I basically took um, that dress pattern that I already, I mean the dress that we already had cut out earlier, 
and I just went in and cut it into two pieces so I cut the top away from the skirt area and I'm just gonna go in later on and sew them back together and we basically have a seam in the center um so right now I'm just pinning the skirt part and also with the top I decided to go in and cut out a V now I can link a few videos in the description box of some dresses or jumpsuits and stuff that I end up cutting V's in so it's uh, pretty much the same process like I said I just did not record I don't know why I'm actually watching it back and I'm like why did I not record that but I didn't catch it so we're just um, right now sewing up the skirt Alright, in here we're just gonna go in and hem everything up and sew our top together. Um, like I said, just check out some other videos on my page. I will link a few in the description box of me doing like deep plunging V dresses. Um, but it's all pretty much the same process. You wanna hem the V, after you hem the V, you wanna sew the side and top of shoulder seams together to make the top. our bottom piece which is our skirt to our top now for me um i love to do a deep plunging v but i know the deep plunging v's are always very hard sometimes to keep the boob area in so what i decided to do was kind of let them overlap a little bit in the front so i stretched it out um just a little bit in the front so we can kind of have the crisscross that you've seen in the picture just like a little slight crisscross in the front and to me that always helps to kind of keep the boobs in the dress <laughs> And as you can see here, we are just slightly crossing it up just so we're able to keep, like I said, it helps when you have a deep V to keep the boots in when you kind of cross it in the center. So here I'm just measuring out how high um, my sleeve stopped it so I can know which part I will be ruching. So about there is where the sleeve stops. So everything above it will be ruched and that will be what we use to make our puff. I mean I just went ahead and did the same thing with the other sleeves. I just pinned that off and the rest will have elastic on it. Alrighty, so right now, as you can see, I am adding the elastic to the top of the sleeve. So everything that was above my pins will be scrunched. And I am not only pulling my elastic, but I'm also ruffling up the fabric physically with my fingers. And that will give you a more um, dramatic puff. And it will also help with like that scrunch detailing. Alright, 
and as you can see here I'm just flipping my sleeves inside out and you want to go ahead and put them into the dress normally as you do any other sleeve I just like to pin my um bottom of my armhole and the top of my armhole and then the rest should just like fall perfectly and you just sew it in how you sew any regular sleeve now for the fun part so as you can see here I am just pulling and gathering my tool that's basically I don't have a gathering foot or anything like that basically all I do is I just take it and I manually with my finger just keep pushing it up so a little bit keep pushing it up so a little bit so that's kind of how I do it um this is my favorite part but yeah <laughs> So as you can see here, I just found some random um, navy fabric, just some scrap fabric from some, another project. And I am going to just cut out a circle skirt. I am not using any measurements. I just basically am thugging it, just cutting out this circle skirt. And I will use this to attach my um, tool to my dress. <laughs> Alright, so after I went ahead and hemmed my circle skirt, now I'm just going in and taking my tool and just sewing it around and around the circle skirt. Now for me, I make sure that I leave a little bit of tool because I'm going to go back and add one layer of tool to the dress. So I just sew around and around and I leave just enough to go around um, one layer of the dress. I will show you a little bit later in the video exactly um, what I do with it, but I like to leave a little extra. So as I said earlier, I like to go in and have um, one layer left, and I use this layer um, to sew upside down on the actual dress and to cover up that seam from uh, our circle skirt that is full of tulle. <laughs> This is just like video of me pinning and attaching that tool to the actual dress and as I said this will be basically used to mask and cover up all the tool that is attached to the circle skirt now this is flipped upside down on the actual dress and I leave about I say an inch at the bottom so that I still have something to sew the circle skirt to but this, like I said, you want still want to get it as close as you can to the actual circle skirt because you don't want to, there to be a gap between this one layer of tool and your circle skirt because you'll be able to see it. So, um, yeah, like I said, you do that and you also want to make sure that you're leaving little small gaps in between. So you want to leave a little bit of wiggle room because as I'm sewing this tool on, I will be stretching it. So that once my client puts it on, it's still stretchy at the bottom. It's not too tight. So you want to make sure that you're pinning. As you can see, I have little extra gaps of, of tool. It's not pinned very tightly at all. Um, so that once I am sewing it, I am able to stretch that tool out. And the bottom of my dress will still be stretchy.
Alrighty, so this is a bit difficult to see, so I'm going to go ahead and try my best to explain it. Um, so you know how we sew that tool around our circle skirt, right? So you want to take that circle skirt and you want to flip it inside out, right sides to right sides. And you want to attach that to the bottom of the dress, right under where you sew that one layer. So as you can see here, you see how I'm kind of pinning it and it's inside out. So I'm um, just doing that and I'm going to go ahead and slip that on my machine and just zigzag stitch all the way around that bottom. Um, so hopefully that was easy to explain. I didn't catch much on video. But if you kind of look at it, it should be kind of um, easy to see. Like I said, I just went ahead and flipped that circle skirt inside out. And I sewed that thing at the bottom of the dress right under that one layer of tool that we had. Alrighty, so this is our final result. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I have a couple new uh, prom videos that I have pre-recorded. So basically this was me making a lot of my samples. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Definitely stay tuned. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe.